wide spaces between life and death lies a mystery as old as humanity itself, the concept of reincarnation. Many cultures around the world have long believed in the idea that death is not the end, but merely a transition, a doorway to another life. Reincarnation suggests that our souls, like worn travelers, shed their old bodies and move on to new ones, continuing an endless journey through time. But what if this ancient belief is more than just a comforting myth? What if the truth of reincarnation is something far deeper that touches every aspect of our existence? In Hinduism, it is called samsara, the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, governed by the law of karma. Every action, thought, and intention in one life influences the circumstances of the next. The soul or Atman carries the weight of its past deeds, reincarnating in a form that reflects his accumulated karma. The ultimate goal is to break free from this cycle and achieve moksha liberation from the endless cycle of rebirth. Buddhism shares a similar belief but with a crucial difference. In Buddhism, there is no permanent soul that transmigrates from one life to the next. Instead, what continues is a stream of consciousness, a flow of energy shaped by karma. This energy carries the imprint of past lives, influencing the conditions of the next. The aim in Buddhism is to attain nirvana, a state of perfect peace and freedom from the cycle of suffering and rebirth. In contrast, many Western interpretations of reincarnation, particularly in New Age spiritualism, emphasize personal growth and the journey of the soul toward higher consciousness. Here, reincarnation is often seen as a learning process, where each life offers lessons that bring the soul closer to enlightenment. The idea of past life regression, where individuals explore their previous life through hypnosis, has become a popular method of connecting with these past incarnations. One of the most compelling aspects of reincarnation is the stories of people who claim to remember their past lives. These accounts often come from children who, at a very young age, began to recount vivid details of lives they've never lived, at least not in their current form. Such stories have been documented across the world, challenging the boundaries of science and skepticism. The case of Shanti Devi a girl born in Delhi, India in 1926. From a very young age, Shanti began speaking of her previous life in the town of Mathura, over 140 kilometers away. She claimed that she had been a woman named Lugdi Devi, who had died shortly after childbirth. Shanti's parents, initially dismissing her claims as childish fantasies, were soon struck by the level of detail she provided, details about her previous home, her husband, and even the layout of the town. Shanti's story caught the attention of Mahatma Gandhi, who set up a committee to investigate her claims. The committee took Shanti to Mathura, where she identified her previous husband and even recognized family members from her past life. The accuracy of her memories astounded everyone involved, leaving them with more questions than answers. How could a young girl, with no means of knowing such details, recount a life lived decades earlier? But Shanti Devi's case is just one among many. In the West, the story of James Leninger, a boy from Louisiana, USA, also captivated the public. As a toddler, James began experiencing horrific nightmares about crashing in a plane during World War II. He would wake up screaming about being shot down by the Japanese. His parents, initially bewildered, began to investigate his claims. James provided details about his aircraft, the USS Natoma Bay, and even the name of a fellow pilot Jack Larson. His parents discovered that all these details were historically accurate. James claimed he had been a pilot named James Houston, who died in battle. Surprisingly, records confirmed that a pilot by that name had indeed died in such a manner. As with Chanti Devi, the story of James Leninger left both skeptics and believers questioning the boundaries of life and death. Across cultures, similar stories surface challenging our understandings of consciousness and existence. Skeptics argue that such cases can be explained by the brain's incredible capacity for imagination and suggestibility, while believers see them as proof of the soul's immortality and the continuity of life beyond death. Yet, reincarnation is not just about the past, it's also about the future. It's about the choices we make in this life and how they will reverberate in the next. It's about understanding that every action has consequences, not just in this life, but in the lives to come. This concept of eternal return is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it offers hope, 
that we are not bound by the limitations of a single lifetime, that we have endless opportunities to learn, grow and evolve. On the other hand, it suggests that we are forever entangled in the web of karma, caught in a cycle of rebirth that is inescapable until we reach enlightenment or liberation. The choices we make, the lives we live, and the karma we accumulate are threads in the vast tapestry of existence, binding us to a destiny that transcends time and space. In understanding the unspoken truth of reincarnation, we may find not only a deeper connection to our past, but a great sense of responsibility for our future.